Before we get into today's video, which features two awesome pieces of news, one related to the future and one related to next week, I want to be sure to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers that we're hoping to achieve by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out. In fact, if we can achieve it by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we will be giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's get into the news. Last year, we talked about some rumors in regards to Nintendo's next system coming from a person that was just tentatively called Factory Uncle out of China. Now, he revealed some other things like the Splatoon 3 OLED and a handful of things over the years that have proven that he clearly must work at one of Nintendo's manufacturing plants. Well, today, that person got permanently banned and all threads that he's spoken deleted on that forum and reportedly, according to the moderators, it was at the legal request of Nintendo. So Nintendo... I don't know if it was a cease and desist. I don't know what they filed to that Chinese forum. But whatever it is, that person's obviously probably fired. And Nintendo is not happy about the leaks that got out there. Now, why we're talking about this, of course, is because we need to now take everything that person said to a new level. Since Nintendo themselves requested his removal and the deletion of all the content... That means that the stuff that he talked about was clearly legit. Now, I'm getting the information that we do know still from him over on Family Boards, so there'll be a link down in the description unless Nintendo makes them delete their stuff as well. But basically, the biggest part that we should take away from everything right now isn't that he had leaked specs or anything like that. It's that it definitely appears the Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever they're calling it, is coming this year. Now, he didn't say that he had direct knowledge that it was arriving this year, but he knew about the production orders and stuff like that that really pointed towards this happening. So, as an example, he does note that Nintendo has elevated their production volume for OLED model parts in quarter one. So, for quarter one of this upcoming fiscal year, and that makes a lot of sense because Tears of the Kingdom is coming out. There's probably a special edition, and they think they're going to sell quite a few. However, that order volume increase, and we've heard this before where Nintendo's increasing the volume of Switches produced heading into the next fiscal year, is greatly being reduced to a, a, a really low point in April. So basically, they're making a whole bunch to get ready for the Tears of the Kingdom launch. And then before Tears of the Kingdom even comes out, they're greatly reducing the number of units that they are producing. And apparently, this number reduction is to a lower figure than they have done in any prior year of Switch. This definitely suggests that Nintendo is ramping down production of Switch, despite the ramp up specifically for one game's launch. Now, what's interesting, though, is that the version 2 parts production, so we're talking about that, you know, the Switch OLED, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch version 2, they're going to stop producing the parts for that system at some point later this year. Now, this does only pertain to that specific factory that he's in. This doesn't mean they're done making switches and switch OLEDs in general, switch lights, right? You need the version two parts to make all those systems today. So this does not mean that Nintendo is done making those switches, but at some point later this year at his specific factory, they are no longer going to be making switches at all, at least the version 2 switch. So that's very interesting to note because that shows a significant down ramp in Nintendo Switch production. And why would they be just closing down factories and production lines if it wasn't for the fact this person also said that they do have orders ramping up for a new hardware system this year? So while he doesn't know if it's coming out this year, they're not going to be making version 2 switches anymore, but will be making this new hardware instead. So this heavily suggests that Nintendo is well aware that sales are about to drop off a cliff later this year. 
And that could be because a new system is coming out. I'm just throwing that out there. Look, we 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 obviously already have the evidence from the Pokemon leaker. We have Jeff Grubb mentioning what he's heard. But this is somebody that Nintendo themselves has already pressed delete and fired from their position. Meaning that the stuff he was saying was clearly legit and he just got busted. So, look, I, I, I think we just... We're entering this period where... Well, nothing's official until Nintendo announces, and, and that's fine if you want to ride on that train. And you know what? Skepticism is always good to keep in your back pocket, and there's no guarantee we're getting anything new this year or early 2024, as it were. But what I will say is, at least at the moment, this is some more serious kind of thing than any of the old Switch Pro rumors we had. Remember back in like 2020, 2021, 2022 even, we had like all these Switch Pro rumors. Is it coming out? Is it this? We're hearing it from... But like this is directly from manufacturing. Someone lost their job over this, and that really sucks. Uh, although they knew the risk by revealing information. So I'll always say it sucks. Some people might say good riddance. The point is that we seem to have legitimate leaks coming out of Nintendo now that we weren't having back in the Switch Pro days. Like, if you think about all of the manufacturer leaks we had back then, it was all about the 7-inch OLED screen, the Ethernet port on the new dock, and the new kickstand, and every single one of those leaks was about the upcoming Nintendo Switch OLED. There wasn't manufacturing leaks for a new product but now we have manufacturing leaks for a new product we also have leaks from somebody who leaked a bunch of pokemon stuff that has a dev kit look say what it is it sounds like we're getting a new nintendo switch a brand new and upgraded a next generation system later this year and again we've talked in the past how hey you know what it kind of lines up with their game release schedule it kind of lines up with not having anything scheduled past july so this could be something that we need to start wrapping our minds around accepting. And I know I'm kind of tired to talk about this topic. Like, what is this, the third or fourth day in a row? Uh, it gets a little old, but I can't help when new evidence rises up. Now, to be clear, that's not the only thing I wanted to mention today because we do have some news just for the normal Nintendo Switch. And that is because Nintendo has announced the Mario, uh, the Mario 10, you know, the Mario Day, uh, March uh, 10th. Uh, celebration they're going to be doing for Mario that they seem to do every single year. First off, they are launching a new Switch. And I say new Switch, it's really just the old uh, Mario Red Joy-Con Switch coming back, except you can choose one of three digital games. I don't know how this works. It includes one free game download. You can either get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, or Super Mario Odyssey. How this actually works Probably got to log online and pick it before you even get the code. But I do think that that is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, uh, also, that's not the only thing that they announced. They happen to have a Mario game sale as well. So Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, Mario Kart 8, uh, what is this? Uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, Mario Maker 2, Mario Party Superstars, Luigi's Mansion 3, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Yoshi's Crafted World. All those games are going to be discounted to $40 for a small bit. So that is really, really neat. Also, Booster Course Pass Wave 4 is, is going to be coming out on March 9th. That's a week from today with the newly added Fruit Cup and Boomerang Cups composed of Tour Amsterdam Drift, GBA Riverside Park, Wii DK Summit, Yoshi's Island, which is making its uh, Mario Kart debut. So it's a brand new course. Tour Bangkok Rush, DS Mario Circuit, GCN Waluigi Stadium, and Tour Singapore Speedway. And a new playable character, Birdo, is being added. This is all stuff we know before, but that's cool. GameStop is also going to have some in-store Mario events celebrating um, from March 11th, uh, noon to 4 p.m. Uh, they're going to be, which is local time, by the way, so just noon to 4 p.m., whatever your local uh, time zone is. You're going to be able to play Mario games with friends, with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and others, and receive free Mario-themed items while supplies last. All right, also from March 5th to March 11th, fans will be able to head to select retailers to save up to $20 on select games featuring Mario and Friends. So this is the sale they're having also extends to the physical copies as well. You could also win a trip to Super Nintendo World. My Nintendo wants to send you to Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood starting on March 10th until April 25th. Head to my.nintendo.com to enter the Super Nintendo World Family Fun Sweepstakes. One lucky winner with up to three guests will win a trip to Universal Studios Hollywood to visit Super Nintendo World and see the Mushroom Kingdom in real life. Uh, kids can also join in the Mario Fun today and every day with activities and videos at Play Nintendo there. 
uh, their YouTube channel. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. So, a bunch of Mario celebrations to throw on top. So, yeah, we got technically a new Switch announced, but also the actual thing we're waiting for seems to be coming sooner than many of us expected. Except Mike Odyssey. I guess Mike Odyssey's been been calling this forever. So, I'm awesome. You're awesome. Love you all. And we'll catch you in the next video.